Business Deputy Denise Mitchell. Kermaha, good last count, Carla. Um, my question is to ask the Minister for Children and Youth Affairs if she's satisfied that robust systems are in place within TUSLA to ensure child protection concerns are dealt with appropriately, that suspected abuse is notified to Angarda Shiakana in a timely manner, and if she will make a statement on the matter. Oh my God. Two minutes. Okay, um, thank you, Deputy. You ask a very important question with regard to the robust systems within TUSLA, and I want to answer your question in two parts. Firstly, on the matter of the appropriate handling of child protection concerns, and then secondly, on notifications by TUSLA to Angarda Shiakana. Um, firstly, up to the end of November 2018, provisional figures from TUSLA show that there were almost 53,000 child welfare and protection referrals. The majority of concerns received by TUSLA are made to local offices or by mandated reporters through its web portal. TUSLA has assured me that all referrals are screened and those appropriate to social work services are subject to a preliminary inquiry. Many referrals require a welfare rather than a child protection response, and so then they are referred on to appropriate services. Uh, following an initial assessment of social work intervention may be required. TUSLA has developed a child, and welfare, um, child welfare and protection strategy to deepen and to strengthen the screening, their preliminary inquiries, and initial assessments through increased supports and the rollout for the first time of a national approach to practice that is called signs of safety. The effectiveness of these practices and systems is monitored through independent inspections by HICWA and TUSLA's quality assurance processes. So my department also monitors TUSLA performance and progress on improvements against monthly activity returns and oversight of the implementations of recommendations from independent um, bodies. As regards then to the uh, to notifying on Garda Shiakana, there are clear procedures in place, but the deputy will be aware that not every referral will require a notification to the guardie. Uh, the Children First Joint Working Protocol between TUSLA and on Garda Shiakana was published to reflect the provisions in the Children First Act 2015. That protocol covers the respective responsibilities of the agencies in key areas, including notification of sus suspected abuse. The protocol emphasizes that when a social worker suspects that a child has been or is being physically or sexually abused or willfully neglected, on Garda Shiakana must be formally notified without delay, and it sets out the notification procedures to be followed. So we do have that joint working protocol. Deputy. One minute, Deputy Mitchell. Uh, th thanks, Minister. Minister, what prompted me to ask this question was the recent HICWA report into child protection services operated by TUSLA in Dublin South Central. The report found an absence of effective communication with regard to management poor oversight of social work practice and that the appropriate measures were not consistently taken by social workers to protect children. And I think we'll all agree that is deeply concerning. Can I ask you, Minister, are you satisfied with the rollout of the new integrated childcare system? Because this report indicates that there were gaps in its records on the system and the staff were not routinely inputting information into it. So I need to ask you, Minister, are, is, is there a situation where this is down to the staff in crisis within Tusla? One minute. Um, of course, um, I'm, I'm aware of that report. Uh, the report is uh, deeply concerning. Um, I think, as you indicate, um, that uh, that you know the, some of the key issues r relative to the findings in relation to that report have, have to do with staffing, um, and and that. Those, uh, those issues that were identified specifically in terms of staffing have been corrected. Uh, um, senior practitioner uh, social worker has been assigned. More people have been brought to uh, that setting. It is the case though, uh, unfortunately, that there are um, a few areas throughout the country where particularly the issue of staffing is acute and subsequently, um, it, you know, it is possible then for a practice to not be implemented in an appropriate manner. Uh, so that, that is the case in, in that regard, and I understand that you're asking that, uh, why you're asking that. Um, I, I think there are, uh, only, my understanding is there are only a, a few regions where there still are acute uh, difficulties, and those are being attended to by TUSLA. Uh, final supplementary. <coughs> Thanks again, Minister. Uh, Minister, as you're aware, um, HICWA is this morning at the Children and Youth Affairs Committee, and they've really given a very concerning presentation. Now, one of the things that they're talking about is the retention and 
recruitment of social workers. Now, they have talked about best practices in other countries. And one of the things is that we could be implying uh, social work assistance, assistance, which would help social workers in around the administrative work, what we were talking about. And this would actually free up social workers, so social workers can spend more time directly on the job they're doing, which is helping families and children. So I'm wondering, is this a system that maybe you would be examining? Because, Minister, there is great concerns, and in particular, in around the uh, report from Hickwood there regarding Dublin South Central, did you speak to uh, Tusla about this report? And could you just tell the House what they actually said back to you about it? Because it was a very damning report. Um, right, thank you, uh, Deputy. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Yes, I am aware, uh, of course, that Hick was there with, with the committee, uh, and I was able to watch a little bit of that just before coming in. Uh, I think specifically with re in relation to your question about um, the bringing into an organization additional administrative staff in order to, to uh, free up social workers to do their job, um, yes, that is part of the plan. I also noted that Mary Dunyon did acknowledge that there has been a welcome increase in the recruitment of uh, administrative staff, uh, and that, that will help. Um, secondly, though, I, I will say, uh, as she also did note, and I am uh, aware of and have requested uh, sight as, as soon as possible of the workforce uh, strategy that has been in development uh, with regard to TUSLA uh, uh, for uh, some time. My understanding is uh, that the board has received a draft copy. They are uh, going to be furnishing uh, that with me as soon as they are satisfied with that. That is really a critical aspect that will assist in terms of the recruitment and retention. A number of other aspects of the re recommendations of their report are being acted on. And just one other thing I will say now, Les Kim Corla has to do with the working with third level institutions in order to look at the numbers of uh, places for social workers and training and that work has begun as well with my department.